Welcome to Catholic Education Sunday. Today, we invite you on a journey to visit the schools, meet the people in our communities, and discover what makes Catholic education precious to all of us here in Singapore. I also learned to pray the Angelus through the 12 noon sacred time. There is recess adoration where we get to go to the prayer room to pray and light a candle. So going back to adoration and being guided with it, it helps me in my faith. I understand what I'm going to do. We have morning prayers, morning sharings, and we have mass in school sometimes. Uh, having um, the faith so easily accessible through the medium of school really um, allows for me to see God within my vocation as a student as well. Especially with our stressful education system, knowing that God is always there for you to fall back on and or to rely on in like really desperate times has, has always like had a calming effect on me. We will first begin exploring the different congregations and their unique charisms, understand the common mission that binds us all in Catholic education and how we are called to work together as one. The education we offer is for the last, the lost and the least. We say that very clearly because from the beginning of the times that we've had SGI and the Christian Brothers School, it's always been for the less privileged. What binds us all together is probably our foundress, St. Magdalene of Canosa. Yeah, and we had many wonderful moments in learning about her life, her charism, and we also see it through the acts of our Canosian sisters who continues to be with us up to now. The motto of our schools are Labo Omnia Vincit. Work conquers all, if roughly translate that into English, meaning hard work will bring about, you know, uh, victory in that sense, uh, bring about success. Whether it's in academic work, you have to study hard. Whether it is uh, in uh, vocational skills, you have to also practice hard. And that will bring about success in life. Yeah. Our school strongly believe in the Good Samaritan ethos, all right, uh, uh, trying to be good to all human race. All right? uh, and this is anchored uh, very strongly uh, on our school values of humilities, respect, love and integrity. So our foundress was very convinced that uh, how we deal with people must always be with truth and charity. And of course, Franciscanism, uh, our love for Francis and Claire, that actually is really part of our charism. Although we are a family made up of many schools and have different founders, we all share that one faith. Let us see how the teachings of the Church empower schools to reach out to and serve the communities we belong to. A proper Catholic education, as I see it, would be really universally respecting the dignity of every created person who is made in image and likeness of God. Our whole focus is the Catholic social teaching about justice and peace, about um, human dignity, we have this uh, philosophy by which we live, which came from our founder, St. Mary Frazier, that one person is of more value than the whole world. So we try to see in each person the preciousness, the value of each human person. So we try to restore what is lost through life's experiences, through the hurts and the wounds of people, so that they experience also the love of God through the works that we do for them. But what is particular, perhaps, uh, in, in our school, right, is this emphasis on the inner workings of the child, the formation of the heart. Because what is critical is for the child to be able to first feel self-realization, to experience that, to experience love, to experience what it means to give and to receive. And it is only in this alchemy of becoming that they can then discover their purpose they feel gifted and as well as supported to be ready to be of service to humanity. And they also learn to care for the least among them, among their own fellow students, as well as in the larger community. It's being sustainable, if I'm going to this home and help, I adopt that home at least for one year. And I go once a month or so in a very consistent uh, way. And so this is a very sustainable way to, to do things. And then there'll be real learning. 
sometimes the children get a, a little bit self-centered with the things that they have, that they forget that there are people around them who don't have as much as they do. So we are here to help them to see that um, there are others who may not be as fortunate or as privileged as them. And um, with what they have, they can actually be a blessing to others. I think today it's not just the financially poor. I think today it's those who struggle with uh, special needs, those who suffer from a sense of dis-ease in their lives. It's also those who are not so healthy in terms of mental and emotional well-being, those who face family problems at home. All these are the loss, the loss and the least too that we serve. We look to Jesus who leads us. We are now presented with a very unique opportunity to come together to unite in our strength and cause as one Catholic family of schools. All our Catholic schools are unique and different. We have specific uh, talents and gifts. We have uh, unique characteristics. Our congregations that we belong to have different charisms. All of us are working with a common purpose and grounded on shared values. And you can see that we are all trying to touch hearts, transform lives, and enable our students to live lives for others. In our Catholic schools, we, we want to make that impact to all who pass through our doors. It's a values of faith education that we can provide them. We do not impose our Catholic faith on them, but we want to expose them to it. That faith is also like a spiritual resilience where you draw that faith that takes you through the good times and, and especially more so uh, the difficult moments. The faith will carry you through. I mean, Jesus loved little children to come and, and you know, talk to Him and, and pray. Oh, their belief is so pure. And, and I always pray that, that this faith will continue to stay this way yeah, for the children that they will carry this seed of faith uh, into their adult lives later on and always look back and remember about what prayer means. When parents send their children to the Catholic schools, when the children return to them, actually more often than not, it's the parents who become converted themselves because they, they become part of this community. I think one of the church's greatest gifts to Singapore has probably been through her Catholic schools because they've served uh, the entire country, not just uh, Catholic families, but uh, many, many thousands of, uh, of young men and women have attended Catholic schools here. To build up and ennoble boys and girls to become men and women of service, and at the same time, to build up a community of believers to become men and women of faith. Because only when our students share and carry that strong faith can we ensure that we have a next generation of Catholics who will continue to lead the way in our faith journey? Through Evangelizer, God for Catholic Faith, the good witness of Catholic Faith are the Catholic schools. By the way we are of service to the students, the way we respect the students, the way we respect the teachers, the way we work as a community, that, that is true witness. I think the gift of us becoming one is not that we are separate. I think the gift is we become clearer. Clearer about what we do in school, through all our different charisms, about the one we follow, the one we call Jesus. The one who shows us how to heal, to teach, to care, to share. The one who calls forth from all of us a way to be Christian, to serve that we all have a common mission and we do have that common mission and that sense of the body of Christ coming together doing that one mission in Catholic education allows us to really support the work of the church. Let us discover how we can all contribute to Catholic education. May we as one Catholic family of schools continue to grow and flourish in our call to be life-giving in love and service to one another just as Christ did. The Catholic schools are doing great work in terms of uh, providing the care and the love for our students. Uh, the teachers in the Catholic schools are really different because they believe in the mission, they know this is God's work and they look after the children like their own. 
There are four things I would ask us to consider. First, encourage your children to come to Catholic schools. We are good schools. We are very good schools. And we serve the range of schools. But education is not about a score or a grade. Education is about the growth of the person. That, I think, is the real value. That, I think, is the real grace of going through Catholic education. Trust your son or daughter who says, Mommy, Daddy, I want to come to a Catholic school. Two, support us. Support us if you're parents, support us if you're Catholic, support us by coming to help us in the work we do in Catholic education. Whether it's through a parent support group or whether it's an alumni coming back to make a difference, come and support us. Three, walk with us. Walk with us and accompany us in Catholic education. We need you. Many of you are graduates of our school. Many of you have received the best that our schools have offered you. Don't be shy about what you have received from a Catholic school. Be a proud graduate. Come home and accompany us. Support us in the many programs we do. But more importantly, proclaim the good news. Proclaim the good news that Catholic education is good and it is God's gift to all. And fourth, pray. Pray for us. Because the work of Catholic education is not easy. It's tough work raising good children. So pray for us. Pray for us that we stay faithful to the vocations we have and we stay faithful to the noble tasks that we are called to do. Those are the four things I'd like to ask for your support for. The road has been long getting to this point. 169 years and many of our schools have begun and flourish and we continue to look forward. And the road ahead is even longer. We need you to come and walk with us. You are church and we are church. So come, be with us on this gift, this task that is the Lord's work. We are all in it together. Come, be with us. Let us pray for Catholic education in Singapore. Gracious God, we pray today for our Catholic schools and for Catholic education in Singapore. Bless our schools. They educate our young. They nourish the minds, bodies and souls of our children to serve God, family and community. Bless our educators and catechists. They nurture and anchor our children in faith and knowledge. They enable them to meet the demands of our ever-changing world. Bless our parents. They partner our schools. They help grow our children to be faithful disciples of Christ. They support our schools in grooming young people who will give our world a better tomorrow. Gracious God, help us to pray without ceasing, to work without wavering, to give without grudging. To, to ensure, ensure the, the future, future of Catholic, Catholic education, education for all our, our children. children. Amen. Amen.